the old Ridge Road, we never built anything like this. And we couldn't move mountains like they do today with the equipment they had and so forth. They had to build it up high. And nobody had ever done anything like that. So they had to build it all with pick and shovel and a Fresno scraper. So basically there was a road, kind of like a semi-organized stage route called Stockton Los Angeles Road. Kind of not like so much a road in the conventional sense that we would think of it now. Um, more, but it would facilitate stage travel. When the car came around, this was just a huge game changer. Uh, for, for a car to operate properly, even in the early 20th century, you need a smooth, flat road. What had ended up happening in 1909 was the first state highway bond act. What you see is the creation of a lot of state highway corridors uh, that are really core to California as everyone knows it today. But in the case of the Ridge Routes, you get uh, Legislative Route 4, which was known as the Inland Route, and eventually the Ridge Route. Work started on the new road in 1914, with two railroad contractors taking on the daunting task. Mahoney Brothers and Lemoore Contracting Company. Armed with mule teams and Fresno scrapers, they started carving out the path of the Ridge Route. You know, they uh, started in the late 1914. They opened to the public in 1915. Over one million cubic yards of dirt was moved by pick, shovel, Fresno scrapers, and mules to create what is now the Ridge Route. The road opened to the public in October of 1915. At that point, it was an oil dirt road. With 697 curves and no more than a 6% grade, this brand new route cut off 24 miles from the next best path. Like it really, really made state available to anybody. To have like a 12 hour day to travel between those two cities was just like monumental. 